I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive. But everything depended on it. God, the rats survive everywhere. Go. It's like night's come now. Ooh. Is it night though? Or is it just a storm? Is it a dust storm? Eyes on, eyes on! Shit, son. Oh! <laughs> Points for style. I hope that's Miller. Oh, where you go, my man? I'll take you there for 50 bullets. <laughs> so you made it, Artur. I had my doubts, to be honest. Hi. Did you find anything? Oh, yes. Okay, saddle up. Покойно, ребята. So, uh, where are we going? To church. Artur, does the name Ken ring a bell? Help us find you. I still don't know how he did it. Oh, joy. Good old Khan. And this is Ullman and Miller come to help. Hey, how about some music? I'm up for that. Sure, what are you doing? Oh. Ah, chin. I like this chin. Dum, 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 bum, 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 bum. End of chapter now. Come on. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> So far, the only human outpost up here. Sparta's outdoor base. Ah. Huh. In the meantime, I'll check the documents you brought. Awesome. Hopefully, I'll get more of a chance to explore this place than I did. Uh, Polis. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians. I think I've heard that conversation before. Hi. Yes, hey. I was monitoring the radio. Oh, okay. Well, no hi for me. Siberia was silent. Hunter base, huh? But cool. Did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. Ah. Uh -huh. so awesome. Oh, uh, there's two in this chapter, and okay, I guess this is the second note. Um, the the one, the other one must be like really nearby. No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids in the air. The crewmen were begging it was to in the, uh, the families were I did have a certain amount of time to interact inside the jeep. Maybe it was inside that jeep. Yeah. That'd be awful. Hi, Tim. I'm Vladimir. Hi. Speak whatever you like. By the way, if my accuracy seems off, I meant to make this point earlier, but, you know, it was kind of tough to... Really, I just get to pick what I like? They could stay I don't have to pay for it or anything? Really? No, I was gonna say. I do the ammo. Yoink. Um, yeah, this new mouse I have, it's an upright mouse. Uh, this is because I'm suffering quite, ba quite bad from RSI, so I've got a mouse which I can, you know, I can use without twisting my wrist, uh, which is fine, but it does take some getting used to it, and therefore I will likely be r less accurate when it comes to things like shooting. Luckily, these last couple of chapters haven't really required that so much, you know. It's just been look in the direction of those gorilla guys, and that'll do me fine. You can't find stuff like this in the metro. It's the latest military equipment. Awesome. Right, um, let's see. The cost in blood is outrageous, I'll tell you that. What type of weapons do you have? Oh, oof. Kalash. Best assault rifle used by the army. It's extremely sought after in the metro due to its uh, great performance. Don't seem to give me a price. Revolver, joy, big gun, big gun, the big gun. <laughs> Assembled from common bicycle parts and metal pipes in the most basic tools. Revolver, shotgun, easy to manufacture, as it is in the enclosed space around the metro. Oh, that looks interesting. I wonder how big its clip size is. A hell breath, bearing balls, incredible speed. Somebody mentioned this, the hell breath, to me before. It's like a really good weapon. Um. Deals lower damage if fire before charging fully. Uh, oh my. <laughs> mm, that looks awesome, but no thanks, I'm good. What I might try, just for the effect of trying it, is the big one. Um, 
It's a revolver shotgun. It looks like it's got, you know, a good amount of bullets to it. So I just replaced that, did I? Okay, I guess I've done that now then. Okay, whatever. Um, Just any customized options for it? A laser sight? Oof, that's really all I need. Wow, you just do this stuff for free then. I can feel the change in attitude. Uh, I want the reflex sight. Yes, I do. Oh, man. Being able to just have this and, and not have them charge me for it is awesome. Yep, okay, have that too. And the barrel, silencer. Lovely. You know, that's good. But if I could just replace it with, like, this one. Best assault rifle. You know, balls to it. If you guys aren't going to charge me for it, I'm going to go for, like, the best stuff out there. A reflex sight on there. Silencer. And uh, laser sight. I have all that in there, right? Um, yes, reflex sight is the one I want to go for. Awesome. Awesome. And as for you, uh, I haven't had a chance to try you out yet. And actually, uh, because you're, you're recoverable ammo, I'd quite like the chance to. Uh, facilitates weapon aiming at medium range but limits the field of view, making it hard to use in the confines of the tunnels. Or I can use the IR sight. I think I'm more tempted by the IR sight, honestly. Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't need a laser sight for a weapon like this. I don't. This, however, I could use. Doesn't need a silencer because it's already silenced. Do I want the two times scope? It would work as a good... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. IR sight will do me just fine. Awesome. Wow, dude, I feel really, really well equipped now. Cheers. Um, there's nothing else I wanted to... Good old revolver. Uh, no, I'm good. I am good. That's me. Of course, I've learned my lesson now that I need to always have a weapon which I'm willing to swap if I need to. Um, because I learned that in the Lurker Station, in the episode I called uh, The Corpse Station, I believe. Just actually released the episode yesterday, if you're interested in the chronology of all this. Hmm. I learned in that episode that I always need to have one gun that I'm always willing to let go of, should it come to it. Oh, is that big gun? What type of ammo does that use? Does anybody here sell ammo? <laughs> Right, so I bought that big gun, but I, it doesn't have any ammo. I assumed it used buckshot, but I guess it doesn't. You know what, might? I mean, I just haven't equipped these weapons yet, so then maybe that is what they use. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Uh, right, yeah. If I get to the end of this chapter, by the way, without finding that sec that first note. Oh, hi there, Artyom. Hi. Oh, woman. How's it going, man? Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm exercising, as you can see. Everything needed. Hmm. <laughs> How, are you? How are you? Can I talk to you? No. It's, it's kind of weird that that's like the second note. I haven't had like much chance whatsoever uh, to, to like, look around or be free. I guess maybe in like the 10 seconds I was in the Jeep, there was a note there I could get, which I just didn't notice. I was too busy like beating along to the music. I don't know how long I'd be there. Uh, but that's okay. If I miss that, not a big deal. But I feel like it might be around here too. No. No, I guess not. What ifs? I don't even care. <laughs> Ooh, I want this. No, I think I'm about done on here, isn't it? As we're getting later into the game, it seems like areas are more concentrated into one place. But hopefully there's a chance to, you know, pick up some ammo. Luck to you, Omen. Chopping wood. Oh my. You know that that second one actually said why a church? I'm just gonna read it now. Screw it. Why a church? Is it just the sturdiness of the walls? Or do Miller's fighters believe it could protect me protect the protect them 
God damn it, <laughs> better than anything else. It's worth that even those who stand firmly on the ground looking death in the face and, by all accounts, must be quite used to it, still seek protection from heavens. Rangers don't speak of it, but I saw many of them wearing undercloth crosses. I heard someone tell that the world turned inside out after the apocalypse, and while hell ended under the skies, the people had to find refuge where hell used to be. That's why there's supposedly no better refuge on the surface than the old churches. Did that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but these icons and frescoes adorning the church walls instill some kind of calmness, even in me, as if we, the sinners who had the divinely created world destroyed, can still hope for absolution, can still pray for salvation. i tell you why it comes me. Personally? Is that even, it's, it's nice just to see something that isn't here for the sole purpose of survival or because it's efficient or because it can help us kill. Religion, this, is something specifically designed to give us hope. To give us something to fight for. Oh, there's the other note, sweet. Yeah, that's why it comforts me. It's like a change of pace. You're not meant to look at it and go, how can I kill it if I need to? You're meant to look at it and be comforted. Who are you? Hello there, Artyom. Oh, come I told you we'd meet again. Hi. It's a nice base the Rangers got themselves. Not bad, is it? I heard you received no help from Polis. What's your next move? Keeping silent, you're turning into a ranger. <laughs> Take a close look at the road you follow, Artyom, and be aware of how it might end. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. Hmm. Khan. Aside from Bourbon, who I just like because he was funny, Khan is, I think, one of my favourite people in, in the Metro that I've met. He's certainly one of, I feel, the wisest people I've met. And the people whose lessons I take to heart most. Miller, actually. To me? I don't know, he seems brave, and I like that he's willing to help, but I don't like him that much. That could have something to do with the fact that he was the one that dragged me through Polis before I was able to actually have a look at everything. Let's read the first note. Khan. I owe everything to him. If not for him, I'd rot in that anomaly tunnel. I'd never be able to reach the library. I never have, I'd never have been able to reach the library. <laughs> if not for him, Miller would never pay attention to me. I don't really know what kind of man he is. I don't even know if he's a human at all. What? Yes, I was sent on this path by Hunter, but it's Khan who walks me through it. It's weird, but even Miller's subordinates, who seem to acknowledge no authority other than their indomitable colonels, pay heed to this wandering philosopher and believe him. He has some mysterious power over human souls. I wish I could meet him again. I have too many questions nobody else can answer. Well, he's right here. I guess not. No, he's bl he's blanking me now. <laughs> Books. The world in a book. Hmm. All right, Miller. I guess it's time to do the plan, whatever the plan may be. Okay, okay, okay. There's not much useful in here. Just hints at most. Hmm. Although it does show the way to D six. Well, that's our destination then. Mm. Are you ready? Wow. Like, seriously, a screen like this, the entire. like, for every section of the entire game would have been great. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna say I am not ready. Right mouse button. Gear up, Artyom, and take the opportunity to get acquainted with Vladimir. <laughs> Vladimir? Who's Vladimir? Oh yeah, downstairs he introduced himself. Yeah, no, I think I honestly think I'm fine. I just Are you ready? I would love to have had this opportunity like throughout the game, is all. If like at the end of every chapter and such like that. Um I have a thought on that, but uh, it's something I'll actually say probably until the end of this let's play, because it's more of a summarizing thing. Huh. No, I honestly think I am ready. Miller. I'm not sure about this course of action we're taking. 
I'm getting the impression that the game is giving me, giving me the chance to change my mind. I really hope it does. I don't want to nuke the dark ones. <sighs> Simply because I don't know if it's the right thing to do and it's one hell of a thing to do when you're not sure. I would follow Khan's advice. And just consider my options. Are you ready? I am ready, Miller. So, how are we faring? Wolman, is everything ready? Uh, the firewood's done. <laughs> Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Awesome. Settle up then. Awesome. Pakonyam. Whatever that means. Misguided or not, these people are trying to save us. You gotta appreciate that. Can I pick the tunes this time? Bye, Khan. All the best. I have 300 year old relatives that walk faster down the stairs than you do, Miller. Off we go. It's the old church dungeon. Good to know. Hey, can I have one of those? I figure Artyom smokes. Get in! 